I just reached a dead end and uh, I need to go get into a campsite now. So I passed a couple and I just obviously because I'm me I had to stop or I had to just keep going until I hit where I couldn't go any further and um, so now I gotta either back up or turn around or something but I have to turn you off because you're too bright to do that with. Well guys, I am officially in the boonies, and by that I'm making a really terrible joke because I'm in the Daniel Boone National Forest. Yeah, don't laugh, I don't deserve it. I woke up so cold this morning. Uh, last night was miserable. I've had two really freezing cold nights now, and I am not holding much hope for this one because it's supposed to be the same temperature. I was, I couldn't sleep last night. I kept waking up and just laying awake for hours. So I woke up just tired and not very happy this morning. And I left Red River Gorge where I'd been camping. I needed a shower and I needed, I just had some other errands. As you can see, it is dark out. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck you into bed. I have no idea what's around here. It looks completely empty, devoid of people. I've not seen a single soul except for the one house that I drove past with their lights on that I glanced over at and saw a very nicely, na nicely naked man. <laughs> very large, naked man. <laughs> and that's it. Lots of falling down abandoned houses, buildings, shacks. All is promising. Past a couple cemeteries. Anyway, I'm gonna get to sleep. We're gonna cross my fingers and your fingers and all of our fingers and toes that tonight is manageable and I that way I can just wake up and like actually start my day. I've just been getting by in the morning because the mornings have been super cold. Lots of talking. Sorry. <laughs> Good night.
I'm at that Dolan and Bell Cemetery that I passed last night and I'm gonna go up. I want to see this cemetery. I love these cemeteries that are just in the woods somewhere. Like, how do you end up with a cemetery out here? It's beautiful and such a great idea. And this road looks very treacherous. Oh boy, oh boy, this is steep gravel. Oh, Walter, we got this. We got this, Walter. Come on, I believe in you. Oh my god! I also passed a cemetery back that way that I missed last night that was called Kid Cemetery. About, I don't know about anyone else, but the point of hikes for me is always to get to the water. I mean, I literally could just run around and play next to a river forever. I have to pee. It is so muddy. Oh my god. I know I'm gonna follow me. <laughs> such a good mood. <laughs> Can you hear that airplane going overhead? Because it's really loud to me. Anyway, I'm super excited. It's raining. It's raining. It's like 745. It's still really dark. The sunrises have been happening around 8. So I've been using that as an excuse to sleep in lately. But it has uh, been raining most of the night. 
I slept at, what is this called? I literally had to type it in for Google to find it. What is it called? A boat ramp. <laughs> I got here in the middle of the night last night, at like 10.30. Last night was Thursday and I always get a little sketched out around the weekends. More people are up to mischief. <laughs> There's gonna be people making out, I don't know. <laughs> but it was fine, there was no one here. Uh, as I drove in, a car was leaving, so I'm assuming they finished their makeout sesh. I usually park with my butt, my van butt facing an area that's hard to get access to so that if somebody does come up and knocks on my window, it's not right next to my bed. It's like either at the side door or my front window. I fell asleep last night and it started raining at like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I love rain, I miss rain. And the rain means it was warm last night. It was warm. It wasn't snowing. It wasn't cold. I could stretch my legs out and the bottom of the covers weren't freezing. Oh, it was good. I was thinking about doing laundry because as you can tell, I've been wearing the same clothes for the past like five, five days. I would like to wash them. They're fine. Yeah, I'm excited to warmer weather because I really only brought a select few warm things because they're bulky and I know that I'm not going to be needing them forever and I'm planning on sending them home when I get to warm weather. Just wanted to give you a little, a little explanation. I kind of want to take you for a little walk. Look at your girl. She's got a whole new outfit on for the first time in days. I feel, I feel nice and fresh. Time to do laundry. Laundry day by Jason Mares. Oh, I'm in such a good mood. I'm gonna get, I'm, today's a productive city day. I love days where I get to just like, cause the van, you know, it just gets a little cluttery and things are, you know, you forget to put things back where they go and blah, 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 blah. And like this morning I just, cleaned things up. I got all my laundry put in the laundry basket. I'm in a new outfit. It's the little things in life. Stick with me, kids. It's a fun, fun time, fun stuff. Am I the only one who, every time I see a boat ramp that just goes straight into the water, wants to drive right into the water, like chitty chitty bang bang? We're not doing that today. Wow, look at how bright and sunny it is back there. Oh, okay. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right. I was gonna go in and do my laundry, but then I realized that these overalls always open up, like the buttons come undone. So I gotta fix that first because it's embarrassing. This is your average day in van life. Welcome. Side one, complete. I've had these pants for two years and this same problem. It took literally two minutes to fix them. Ugh. Hello. <laughs> um, well, I am not where I planned on being. I am currently at a lookout point somewhere in, I don't know if I qualify as being in the Smoky Mountains yet. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know where I am necessarily. I was going to be in the Smoky Mountains, but then as I drove up, I'm gonna look really funny for a second because my bangs are getting really greasy and I just wanna pull them off of my forehead. I did not make it to my camp spot because I was going up the mountain. I suddenly hit the stuff that I've been trying to run away from, which is snow. So here we are. I didn't want to risk getting stuck. And also I got to a turn in the road where I was supposed to go to get to my camp spot. 
and that road was completely covered in snow. If this ain't a sign, I turned around. But I'm, I'm at a lookout point. I don't think you're technically supposed to sleep at these, but I had nowhere else to go. <laughs> But anyway, that is my eventful night. I feel like I keep arriving to places where I want to sleep at night and then I don't get to spend much time at them because I'm still trying to travel south. So, how's this look? Is this a nice, nice look? <laughs> Good night. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call Okay, well good morning. It looks like there is zero chance of me ever escaping snow ever. <laughs> it is nice and snowy. It looks like the road is okay though. But it looks like the road is okay. At least there's that. I'm getting off this mountain so that I don't get stuck up here. <laughs> All right, off we go. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through. good. I took a shower. I shower at Anytime Fitness. I am really liking Anytime Fitness right now in particular because they have personal bathrooms. I just walk in with a mask on, book it straight back to the back where the bathrooms are, lock the door, and I'm in my own little shower space, so that feels good. I'm going to get some final work done stuff. What? What? <laughs> I'm gonna get some final stuff done for work today, and then uh, I'm picking up a friend in Huntsville, Alabama. So. Okay, this is long overdue. Now I can see out of my hair while I'm driving. Uh, I just remembered what I was gonna do. I'm gonna move over by the water and I'm gonna give Walter a bath. You hear that, Walt? You're gonna be clean. Oh, I'm watching my van. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that'd warm you up a little bit. Working huh? up a little bit of sweat, yeah. <laughs> you ain't no Yankee, are you? What? You're the difference between a Yankee and a Dame Yankee, right? No. A Yankee comes down here and visits, and a Dame Yankee comes down here and stays. Well, I might be a Dame Yankee. Uh, for the winter, at least. Yeah, that's my bait. Oh, nice. Yeah, I put my little bait there for you. Oh, that's cool. Big fish eat little fish. Yeah. <laughs> Walt, you are a whole new man. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how much I love when he's fresh and clean. You look so sparkly and fresh, Walt. That felt so good. The sun is shining. I was just in a t-shirt because it was nice and it was, ah, what a good morning. Ooh. Okay, I gotta drive. <laughs> oh, this looks like an interesting van. Let's see who's giving me a ride here. Okay, sounds good. You want to get in my white van? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh my god, your van is so cute. Oh my god, so 